This is a mini flying wing that I've called Joy Wing. It's the version number one, and in this video, you will learn how to build it from beginning to end. We will see its performance in flight and we'll improve the next versions. Let's start! This little flying machine began its life the same way as any other machine in this channel. First of all, I made the design in AutoCAD until I thought it was the right measurements and it was ready to be built. It took me a couple of weeks in my spare time to finish it, but it's finally done and you'll be able to download the PDF plans off the description of this video. You can print the PDF version that is two sheets of paper per wing. The main material I'm going to use to build this is foam board. This is a widely used material and if you follow flight tests they use it a lot to build their airplanes. It's really cheap and easy to work with. The plans are color coded. Blue lines means that you have to cut the material only 50%, not the whole way through. Black lines are a whole cut so you have to cut clean. Gray lines are just references so you don't have to cut anything and the orange hash lines means that you have to cut a 45 degree angle to make it easy to bend corners or to glue one layer to the other. I always recommend using a very sharp blade to make the cuts, otherwise the cuts get very nasty, so I recommend replacing the blade often, like every 10 minutes or so. And now I'm building the second wing, it's the exact same procedure. And this is the 45 degree angle cut that I mentioned before. Notice how it'll join the other layer perfectly. Now I'm going to apply hot glue on the edges to join everything together. You can easily use any other kind of glue, but hot glue has the advantage that it will harden fast. If you use hot glue, make sure that you're using a good brand so it works great. I recommend using a reinforcement inside the wing, some sort of a wooden stick or barbecue skewer. But in this first version I didn't use it, until I found out later that I had to put one. The rest of the build is really easy and straightforward. The ailerons in the plants you will see that you have to cut them, but you can actually do whatever you want with the ailerons. In my case I used the 45 degree angle cut technique to make a natural hinge with the same material. Let's begin with the electronics. Right now, servos. And before I forget, I will mark the CG points or the center of gravity where the wing should balance itself. Since the ESC that I'm using doesn't have a voltage regulator to power the receiver and servos, I'm using a buck converter. I calibrated this buck converter to output 5 volts, so that way I will power them from the same battery. It's actually a very easy connection, so I'm not gonna explain that here. I'm gonna use this little receiver, which is compatible with my Radio FR Sky. It's very small and lightweight. It's very cool that it has the same connectors of the servos, and I had to modify the connector of the ESC as well. In the description below I'm going to leave all the links of all the products that I recommend to build this airplane. Don't worry if you don't find a very small receiver, you can use a bigger one, but just bear in mind that it will be heavier. It won't be impossible to fly, but just a little bit heavier. Now it's a matter of finishing the details. I have to put the control horns for the ailerons and some little push rods made out of wire to control them. At this point it's important that you haven't fixed the servos yet, that way you will have more freedom to move them around and connect the push rods. And we finish the wind with the wind tips or vertical stabilizers. Let's recap the electronic components that I've used. I'm using a brushless motor 1106 with 3800 kV. I'm using a very small and lightweight ESC capable of 12 amps, although I can recommend others that will be able to provide the 5 volts. This is the most lightweight configuration that I could find, but this wind can stand larger motors for more power. The propellers are 2 inches, 3 blade, and they just work fine with this motor. 
and the servos are ultra micro servos, which have the advantage of fitting anywhere because they are so small, but the disadvantage of not being that powerful or not enough torque. But these are gonna be alright for this wing. And battery wise, the maximum that I'll recommend is 1000 milliamps of capacity for two or three cells. If you're using a four cell battery, then you should use a 500 milliamp battery. I've been using mostly 500 milliamp batteries for 3S and they work just fine for me. If you're planning to use 4S batteries for maximum power, you should get the right motor. In the description below, you will find links to motors that will stand 4S batteries. Now is the moment of the maiden flight. I'm doing this first flight with a 2S battery and it could barely maintain flight. So I swapped with a 3S battery and that was a lot better. I also experimented flying without the vertical stabilizers. It was very unstable, but in any case, it is very fun to fly. Before any farther flights, I'm gonna give it a good look, something that will make it stand out. So I decided to make a simple design and paint it. And there we have it, a very good distinctive look. It could be better, but for now, let's go on fly. Take care. With this little motor and the combination with its propeller, I'm not getting the maximum power that I would like to have. But even though it is very respectful and it can fly in windy conditions with any problem other than shaking a little bit. The important part is that it's very fun to fly this wing. There's no better feeling than looking at something that you created yourself, flying and achieving the goal. So an advantage of this model is that it's very small, portable, lightweight, and if you crash, it is very flexible, so it will take it very easily. It flies great, but I've noticed some things that I would like to improve in the next versions, like enlarging the ailerons for a better control, and of course making a small fuselage, where I can fit the battery and electronics more easily. But I'm still impressed with this first version for how easy it was to build, and fly. That was super fun. Still, we need to do some improvements to this wing, so I'm going to do the second version where I'm going to enlarge the ailerons. I need more throw, more control over it. I need to put a bigger motor. This motor turns out to be very underpowered. Even using a 3S battery, so I'm going to uh, choose a slightly bigger motor with a bigger propeller so it propels the, the wing at higher speeds and have more control. So let's do that second version and see what happens. But before making that second version, I'll try to put another motor. So that's what I did. I tried this 1306 motor, which seems to be a lot better, and I put a 3 inches propeller. So now let's fly and see what happens. The performance improved a lot, although you won't see in the video the difference in performance, but I could tell the difference and it was definitely better. I even used 2S batteries and it could maneuver easier and maintain flight better than before. Right now I'm in the process of testing the new version. Joy Wing 1.1, which is gonna be a lot faster and better in general. The highlights of this new version is what I mentioned before. It will have a fuselage, larger ailerons, and it will have a more powerful motor. So I'm looking forward to go and fly it. Here you can see some of the images of what I've done so far. 
but that will be for the next video next week. For now, I hope you liked this video. Remember that you can download the plans for free in the description below. If you like these kind of videos, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next project.